Hi, and thank you for viewing this video. My name is Sherry White from Fountain of Life Ministries International, home based in Athens, Georgia. You know, we love you today, and God loves you, and God is your comfort. A Holy Spirit has been sent to us to comfort us, and in, in, in these times that we live in, the perilous times that we live in, we need the comfort of the Holy Spirit. You know, the word that the Lord gave me at the first of, of, of this year was, uh, Do not fear, God is near. And in that, being able not to be afraid and to, to move in faith and hope and love, those three remain, faith, hope, and love, uh, you know, through all the turmoil, through everything that we might have gone through, those three remain. And all of that is wrapped up in comfort. The comfort of the Holy Spirit. You know, in John chapter 14, that's where I'd like to start today. Um, Jesus comforts his disciples. And he says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. God is near, do not fear. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may there be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Hallelujah. You know, and then he begins to, to tell his disciples about the Father sending the Holy Spirit. In verse 16, he said, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another comforter. See, Jesus came with comfort to the world. God so loved the world that he sent Jesus. He sent comfort to you. He sent comfort to the world. He sent comfort in times of distress and tribulation and peril. He says, another comforter is going to come, hallelujah, and be with you forever. The spirit of truth. Ooh, that's so important right there. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows knows him. But you know him. He's saying you know who the comforter is. You know the truth. But you shall know the truth. For he lives with you and will be with you. I will never leave you as an orphan. I will come to you. You know, part of this comfort is belonging to a family that will never pass away. And that's God's family. That's God's kingdom. It will not be shaken. It will not be moved. It will not leave us. He will not leave us comfortless. Let's go over to chapter 15. I believe it's verse 26. He says, When the Comforter comes, or the Counselor, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of all truth, who goes out from the Father, He will testify about me. He will tell you about Jesus. The Comforter, the Holy Spirit, will tell you all the truth. And you also must testify, for you have been sent... You have been with me from the beginning. Hallelujah. And let's go over to chapter 16 and verse 7. This is the workings of the Holy Spirit. It says, Now I am going to, to him to send you, yet none of you ask me, Where are you going? Because I have said these things, you are filled with grief. But I tell you the truth. You know, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. And it says, But I tell you the truth. It is for your good that I am going 
unless I go away, the Comforter will not come from the, from the Father. I will send him to you. I will send you the Holy Spirit. You know, in every situation that you might find yourself in, the Holy Spirit is there to bring that comfort to you. And that word comfort in the Greek means to, to be of good courage. It means to encourage us, to give us courage uh, in times that, that we need that comfort and that, that the Holy Ghost presence in our lives. Can you say amen? You know, in Matthew uh, chapter 4, let's turn back to Matthew in chapter 5, some, um, there are those that, that call these the, the Beatitudes, if you will. I'm in chapter 5, verse 3. Well, we'll read 3 and 4. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. But in verse 4 it says... Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Now, in the Greek, that word mourn means to pray, to wail, to cry, to speak out. And it means to pray. And those that are praying are going to be comforted. We know that the comfort comes through the Holy Spirit. And when we are praying, especially when we're praying uh, in the Holy Spirit, that comfort that we need will come. You know, all through the New Testament, it talks about the comfort that God wants to give us and also that we can give to others. You know, one scripture that comes to me is in uh, Second, um, in, it's First Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, verse 14. It says, to comfort the feeble-minded. You know, we had a mission downtown Athens for eight years. And there were those individuals that would come into the mission and that we would go out on the streets and minister to that did not have their full capacity. They were not thinking correctly. They, their minds were feeble uh, because of drugs or alcohol or something that happened in the war, uh, one of the wars. Uh, they, their minds were feeble. And, and we would talk to them, and they would understand about the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And we would pray with them, and they would be comforted. They're, it would come upon them. They would be encouraged uh, in the Lord. You know, I speak to those of you today that need the comfort of the Holy Spirit. This is especially for you today. If you need the comfort of the encouragement, the courage to go on. God is here today to tell you that He has sent the Holy Spirit to you, that the presence of God may be so strong in your life, in your family, in your ministry, that the comfort will come and, and speak to you. The Comforter, the Holy Spirit, will come to you today and speak that encouragement to you. I speak encouragement to those that have been cast down because He brings comfort to those that are cast down. I speak comfort to those that need healing in their body. He told the woman, daughter, go in, in peace and be of good comfort. He told the blind man, go, be of good comfort. Hallelujah. So comfort is, is all wrapped up in healing. And so I speak that comfort to come to your mind to your body, to your whole being, in the name of Jesus. Know that we love you today, and God loves you, and receive the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for viewing.